Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to show you how to build an oil refinery in the HBM Nuclear Tech mod. Let's get into it, shall, shall we? This is going to be part one because there's no way I'm building a whole refinery in less than like 10, 12 minutes. Anyway, let's get into it. So first things first, we're going to start off with our basic stuff here. We're going to go with our concrete, our fencing, and that. You know what? I forgot the hazard blocks. I'm going to use any hazard blocks. just going to use this one because we do not have the uh, fact uh, chisel mod on here or whatever it's called. Yeah, so we don't have that. So we're going to go ahead and use the particle accelerator plating. Now you don't have to use this. I'm just using it because I like sectioning off areas. All right, so oops, I forgot my builder's wand. I'm gonna go ahead and grab all this, honestly. Do, 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 do. All right, first things first, we're gonna set up a little area here. Uh, use reinforced stone here. I think this is roughly uh, eight blocks. So what we want to do here is we want to build up a little thing here, a little fence on each side. We're gonna in, uh, just have a little indentation right here. So this is going to be where our fuel uh, inlet ports are going to be. This would look better if it was one block. Let me move this one block more. I'm not going to lie, block measurements are not my thing, so... I'm just winging it right now. All right, there we go. And then we can fill in this area here with our little bit of fencing. Really give it that Home Depot vibe. I don't know what that's supposed to mean exactly, but there we go. Yeah, yep, yeah, that's going to be happening a lot. So there's that. We have our fuel inlet port here, or crude oil inlet port here. We're going to toss that. There we go. I got to do some inventory management. Now we're going to make our little thing here. This is where our tanker truck's going to be. I do un unfortunately do not have that mod installed in this mod pack. We are, do not have any tanker trucks. There we go. There's that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put our fuel inlet ports here. Give it that uh, industrial look, I guess. All right. Now on this side, we're going to switch it up. We're going to be using Ducrete for everything that's not here. I don't know if we're going to be using uh, Reinforced for the fencing. We're going to take that. We're going to extend that probably down to here. And then we're going to go over here and do the same thing. I try to I try to make sure it's all lined up. But, you know, Petey Gonzalez over here, we are not... We're really not measuring things right now. <clears throat> All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to take our Ducrete here, <clears throat> just to give it some definition, to get that uh, chemical plant vibe, you know. I mean, a refinery vibe. <laughs> These are just placeholder blocks. It can be any block. It doesn't matter. And then a little bit down the ways here, we're going to have our refinery, which does stick out a little more. So two blocks in instead of the one block. This might actually be two blocks too. Anyway. Regardless. Yeah, I really should have went with something that's more contrasting. Just like that. And then right here, we're going to go ahead. We're going to have our chemical plant uh, here. Now, you can make this a lot bigger. Or at least a little bigger on each side. So we have, we have to include a lot of piping and stuff. So I'm expanding it by two blocks on each side. And our fencing is also going to be a little bigger. All right. And then over here, there... All right, so over here we have a like, little corner here that's dedicated to a cooling tower and all that nonsense. So we're going to go ahead and set that up here. This is going to have to be pretty big because the cooling tower itself is five blocks at least. Etch it, etch a sketch it out right now. I'm not really good at building stuff from memory. That's what I'm trying to do. Position set there, and then we're going to set our position right back over here. Boom, just like that. I think we're going to make it a little bigger. Right, like four blocks right here. And then just like that. And then we can do the same thing so we can have our fencing. All right, so this is our boiler slash, you know, all that stuff. Boiler, cooling tower, everything we need, all that fun stuff. All right, so there's that. <clears throat> All right, now we're going to go a little bit this way. We'll make a little gap here. Just going to uh, do that right there. So we could do um, numerous things here. We can make this like a roadway here, or like a entrance to another part of the plant, in the refinery. Okay, so we gotta 
focus on our other area here. Where our cooling tower... Not our cooling towers, our refining towers are going to be. Alright, first things first, we're actually going to get this set up. I will forget. Alright, so there we go. We have our... Uh, we have our boilers here, probably right here, and then right here. Keep doing that. I really gotta pick up lock that's actually different colored. So we're gonna have our boilers probably right there, right, roughly right there. And our cooling tower is gonna be right here, or right there. It is pretty big. You know what? I might have to make this a little bit bigger. But I forgot about the turbines that have to go there. Alright, that's fine. I'm a little bit stressed. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Alright, so now, boiler here, another boiler here, and then turbines. I think that's roughly four blocks for each turbine. If I remember correctly, and I love when I get things off-centered. Alright, so there's roughly where our turbines are going to be. That's where our cooling tower is going to be, and we have some extra space just in case we need something else that I forgot about. Which is very possible. Alright, so I'm going to put the chemical plant probably right here somewhere. We're just going to mark that out. It's going to be roughly centered there. Alright, and then I probably should have an area where the pipes go through. So we're going to put concrete here. We need it roughly five blocks wide right here. Because there's five pipes. Uh, there might be more, I don't... That's the fun part. I don't really remember. Alright, well that, that works, I guess. Ooh, <laughs> uh, no, it's work, dang it. There we go. Okay, so this is going to be our uh, pipe area. It's actually going to be a little different than the last time, actually. I'm actually going to have a designated area for the pipes instead of just running in the middle of the road. So since our chemical plant... Thing, our chemical factory is going to be here. Our pipes are going to run through here into the big refinery yard. Okay, which means we're going to extend this out a little more. Boom. Just like that. And the same for this side. Just like that. Crap, it just took out part of our road. And we're going to make our road a little longer, too. I love the asphalt that actually speeds you up. All right, and then we're going to do that. We have to fit five tanks out here, so we're going to have to make this area pretty big. <clears throat> this is a very complicated... Oh my god, it's already been ten minutes. This is already very complicated. We have even start construction. This might be a three-part video. Alright, so now we have that. Right now we're just laying out our blueprints, I guess. Right, now we're gonna go take these couple blocks this way. Oh, you know what? No. Bad idea. Not that many blocks, anyway. Okay, right there. Right there should do it. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take that. We're set our position down here. So it's not actively getting on my nerves. We're going to set it right here. Now, this is not going to be the final place for it. So we do have to fit more stuff in here. Alright, so our first big tank is going to be probably right here. It's going to be industrial oil, I think. And then the next one's going to be... I don't really remember, actually. We're going to say Napatha. 
or heating oil. Next one, I, okay, I think this one's heating oil. No, 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 okay. I figured it out. This is heavy oil, this is light oil, this is um, heating oil, then this is going to be diesel, and then this one's going to be kerosene, and then liquid propane gas, if I remember correctly. Uh, I am i don't really, and I probably should have wrote down some notes for this. But, you know, semi-neon way we do things, just wing it, I guess. <laughs> Alright, and then our liquid propane tank's gonna be right here. Or liquid petroleum gas. I think that's actually what it is. Alright, and then we have our little area here. I'm gonna go ahead and make all this all this do create a while. And we're gonna make this do create so it connects that to that. That looks so weird. This little road here looks really weird actually. You know what? Maybe I should make it ask. No, not yet. Not yet. This is going to mess with the the colors. Oh, boy. Alright, now we need a bunch of chemical processing plants. So we're going to extend this a little more. I think that is the right block. I'm not trying to find out, though. All right, we're gonna have to actually expand this a little. So we have a lot of stuff to put in here too. All right, so right here we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and have uh, not one but two catalytic cracking towers. I think our tower is gonna be somewhere around here. I don't know if we're going to put an actual tower in here yet or not. But if uh, it is, it's probably going to be right here. Looks bigger. Looks bigger than the other tower, which actually is good. So I honestly, personally, think I built the other tower a little too small. Alright, so we're going to have one catalytic cracking tower here, the second one here, and then we're going to already... I think we have like a little... Okay. Just a little bit more. Oh my god. The expansion is real. Alright, then we got a lot of stuff that goes here, too. Alright. So, and then, right here... We have a second uh, cracking... Uh, oh no, oil refinery. These are going to be oil refineries... Okay, you know what? I think I'm going to put the flare stacks here. We're going to put one flare stack here. And then the second one here. That's going to be for, like, our... Uh, just to generate extra power from, like, excess heating oil or industrial oil or whatever it's called. Alright, so we got one flare stack and the second one. I think we're going to have one over there as well for our liquid propane. Or liquid petroleum gas. Right, so we got that. Next, right here, we are going to have our refineries. And what that's going to do is going to take the... Whatever we refine from the first two oil refineries. I think it's going to give us cracked oil. And what we get from cracked oil is, I think, like a various amount of byproducts. Like cracked light oil and like aromatic hydrocarbons and stuff like that. If I remember correctly, I do not actually remember, so. Alright, and then we're going to have a little, uh, you know what, I think we can have our little fuel yard thing here. So we're going to go ahead and have that right here. <clears throat> oh, that's right, we have to have a area for our office or not our office, but like, you know what I mean. You know, I think that is going to be our... Mm, I don't really know. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Alright. Stupid. Alright, so. We're actually going to have a little offshoot for this as well, then. 
<clears throat> Set that there. And then that there. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Double wide. Love that. And the same for this side. We can just set it over here since it's already... Sorry, messed up. Alright. Whoops. I'll replace that there. I'll replace this here. Are you kidding me? I could have worried I set the freaking position over here. Stupid. Alright, anyway. Alright, so then we're going to have, I think, like three or four tanks over here. So we're going to go ahead and do two on each side. That's the arom aromatic hydrocarbons. This is going to be our other... Our unsaturated hydrocarbons. And then this is going to be our cracked oil, I think. Cracked light oil. That's not reinforced brick. That's reinforced stone. Anyway. There we go. Gotta give ourselves a little bit of space. All right, so we got our uh, secondary fuel yard. Yeah, they, whew, secondary fuel yard there. God. And then we have our little outpost here, which is going to have our second chemical plant thing. And this is going to be making explosives. C4, exactly. Alright, so we got that. This is going to be our C4 area. After he takes all the stuff from the tanks. We're going to have an ore acidizer and stuff there too to take our niter stuff and convert it to niter powder. And then that gets mixed with the hydrocarbons. Thus making boom stuff. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to make a little area here. We made all this out of uh, explosion proof stuff. So that's what we're going to do again. Simply safety features. Don't know why I put that over here, honestly. Alright, so right here we're going to have our hall of safety. There's two doors here, so. I have to expand it one block on the side. That's fine, though. And then we have our security station right here. Going to take that. Boom. Oh, made that too big. Boom. Just like that. And that is part one of our little building series here. If you guys liked the video, uh, please like and subscribe. And leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys for part two. Goodbye.